Again, uh, for some reason, I chose to record it. Don't ask why, though. I just did. Sorry, that was my brain processing. Um, anyway, let's begin. Where the fuck do I even begin? I don't even know what this video is about. Well, at least not yet. What topic should we dive into? I I'm kind of new to this. How, how do people even do this shit? I'll just figure out. It's fine. Also, I'd like to apologize for the background noise. Our floor just does that. It's very squeaky. I know. It sucks, but it's the best I can deal with right now. Oh, now I remember. Because of the title. I made this audio in a file. Real reasons because I am recording this audio on BandLab. Look, don't judge. I'm just here to spice up the audio. For you, freaks. Sorry that was mean, but you get the idea. So... <laughs> adulthood. It's already scaring me enough. I'm literally a junior recording this shit. And I am literally about to hit my senior year just next year. While having a job on the side too. Which I'm getting prepared for with a life coach. So I will be prepared to settle on. Oh, wait, no. Job coach was the only thing I was trying to say. I ignore that other stuff, please. Thank you for those who did. So, about the adulthood thing. I really fucking fear of just having to just randomly just be, like, older. And then I'd have to try to live off life on my own, in which, obviously... <laughs> You probably did not want to hear that anyway in the most bland way possible. So I'm just gonna try to get to the point the best way I can. So as you can try to already tell, I'm using this video to kinda help people cope with growing up, sort of. I mean, it was sort of my intention. But I also had like other ideas in mind, so like, you know, I gotta think fast as I could. And there you have it. My ideas and plans after high school. Honestly, I just feel like my voice alone along with my username. I'm probably gonna make this video depressing if I don't try to act happy enough, so I'm gonna try doing that. I mean, plans always change anyway, so it's like, why bother like worrying about that shit when you know like... Um, you're probably gonna want to do something else anyway. For example, my dream career is to do art-based things, which involves sketching, like what you're seeing on screen. That one's mostly forever. My goal is to become the next biggest manga artist. Now I know what you're thinking, but hear me out. Here's why I say that. It's basically, I had like these stories in my head, right? along with the characters that I make. But I don't really draw them a lot, and also, I have like these really cool c concepts that I want to create onto an actual canvas, digitally most likely, but I'm still trying to figure out like other things too, like the personalities, what they value. On the other hand is other careers that I choose along with that in mind is basically um, instructions on houses because I want to build my own dream house someday and also move somewhere like let's say Iceland because it's very human right inclusive and also do some things that I never got to do before and maybe travel because obviously for holiday. Also to visit Germany, Italy, and Sweden. And maybe, just maybe, the UK, Australia, and New Zealand. Now why do you may ask? I don't fucking know, I'm still trying to figure that shit out. The truth is, I do have life goals, but I'm still like, not really too sure about them. Mostly because 
some of them seem a bit impossible to achieve, which is why I'm just gonna count on some of them to go well. Mainly my art career, at least my art career. That is my long-term goal, and also with music. But also what does worry me though, is how the fuck am I going to remember how to pay all the fucking money just to live in a home or apartment? Pretty sure it's like, first it's a dorm, then you can buy your, like, your own apartment, and then like later on, you get a couple apartments. After that, years going by, you eventually do save up for a home. But here's the catch. Like, you'd have to have a high paying home to pay off the money of that expensive home. Also, if you're really wanting to, I guess, make a dream house of your own, this would be the best option. I mean, I'm gonna have to start with real estate, but going up after that, I could probably like do house flipping and shit, like. But you imagine just have everything you've always dreamed of in a home, wherever you decide to live for the rest of your life. And let's not forget the most important thing. Let's say I were to live there already and I'm just now having some difficulties understanding the place just a bit. But then I run into a struggle. What would that be? One would be communication skills. This is extremely important, especially as an intro myself. I am gonna have to get used to it. I mean, I'm gonna have a job to prepare me for that. So that's a really good point for me. <laughs> It'll get me prepared. I hope. Also, how do I put this? Language barriers. Since my ass is too easy to use Duolingo anyway. For literally any language I'm trying to learn, especially my native one. I'm probably just going to take classes on them. I'm going to invest my money to start saving up for that. Also for furniture and extra stuff. Anime by oh my God! And sign up for a gym because I'll be in a different town and it might save me a reminder to actually exercise. Because in case you didn't know, I'm a bit of a mess. But that's about to change. For the better. Why did I say it like that? Uh, it's fine. The important thing is I don't record me having a deep voice because it annoys me. It's had to record over and over again because it infuriates me. Which is why vocal feminization surgery is one of my plans as well. And this nasty ass man voice can just dust away into the wind. Fuck being a man. Let's just be brave, alright? I already have a lot going on in my mind, so... I'll just continue on for a little bit and we'll finally be done. Making plans to meet up with friends and family in case, you know, living far away and all that stuff. That's at least important for me because I have some to those I am close to. So therefore, those types can come. The others can just be away. Shoo. Basically the ones who don't accept you and just judge you a lot and won't shut up about it. And on the fun side of things, on the side, uh, yeah, sketching, and also live streaming on Twitch, playing Minecraft, and making songs. You know, just inspiring people to do things. And maybe show them that it's possible. It just takes so much time to achieve, but it's all worth it when you find yourself at the end. That's the most important thing too. Also, going places. Deadass. Will this video get demonetized because I keep swearing? Who cares, this is my life I'm talking about. When I grow up as an adult, keep that word. Anyway, we're just about to wrap things up. Thank you for all of you who decided to tune in. And I hope this video kind of inspires you to share your thoughts on how you want to live when you grow up. It's just really interesting to think about, you know? Since you gotta find out some way to be independent. I mean, it's obvious why you don't want to live with your parents for the rest of your life. I am not re-recording that. Some of you heard what that was said. That's why you always gotta retry with reading in audio. I'm not actually reading. This is all, um, free trial speech. Sorry for the confusion. Although with my cases, it would be helpful. We just so I know what I'm saying.
But then again, sometimes reading lines is hard too. Let alone having to re-say them. It's just a whole lot to process, you know? Anyway, that's just about it for this video, and comment down below your thoughts on your life, or even make your own video and tag me in it. Anyways, love you and stay safe. Bye. Bye.